Hello again. Now, uh, today, after uh, a number of requests and questions, I have decided to do a uh, video on how I uh, keep the track nice and clean. Uh, now, at the moment, it's a prime opportunity to clean the track because I've been doing so much work on the new extension. There's been a lot of sawdust in the air, and uh, generally a great deal of time has passed since I last cleaned the track. So, it really is in dire need of a clean. Uh, some of it is okay because it's all shiny and new, but the fiddle yard is all mainly older track and stuff and it's all in desperate need of a clean it's not running so good at the moment so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do the uh, the video now as you can see by looking down there I have uh, wired in and uh, nailed down the branch line so all the tracks are now connected up and working which is why I'm now going to clean the track so to clean the track I use this wagon here it's called uh, a CMX track cleaner uh, you can get it from most sort of model railway shows and uh, various websites. Uh, my particular one came from a shop called DCC Supplies and uh, I use uh, this American cleaning fluid called Goo Gone which is uh, very good at getting the grime off the track. Uh, you also need a felt pad and uh, a big roll of this comes in the box with the CMX when you buy it. You have to get the, uh, the cleaning fluid separately. You can use any cleaning fluid uh, that you particularly prefer. Right, the, uh, the CMX wagon is basically a, a, a tanker on wheels. Uh, so it's got a filler here, you know, where you pour the cleaning fluid in, and it's got an adjuster here. Now this adjusts how quickly the fluid uh, drips out of the bottom of it. If we look underneath, you can see in the centre there, there is a hole. And now when you undo the valve, that hole gets bigger, and uh, the fluid drips out onto uh, the felt pad, which is pushed along the bottom of here and held in place by these little retaining sort of clips. Right, the first thing to do is to make sure that the valve is closed because you, know, you don't want any fluid to drip out of the CMX whilst you're actually filling it up. Uh, so you just make sure that the uh, the valve is turned all the way uh, clockwise and uh, that's done up. And then the next thing you want to do is uh, fill up the CMX. I just use this little syringe, uh, it's much easier to fill it. Right, I filled it up, uh, so now uh, you just need to put the uh, the lid back on. It's important you don't do it up all the way because there's a little breather hole uh, about there and uh, if this is done up all the way uh, that breather hole won't let any air in and then that means no fluid will be able to drain out. And then all you need to do after that is just clip in the, uh, the bit of felt using the, uh, the metal clips that the uh, unit comes with like that and then that just keeps it in place uh, while it's going around. Now before uh, you start track cleaning you need to actually uh, find some locos suitable enough to uh, pull the uh, CMX cleaner. Uh, when it's filled with fluid and it has the friction pad underneath uh, it is quite heavy and difficult to pull. Uh, so I would recommend that uh, you double head if you're going to be using the CMX. I personally like to use the two class 20s because they're both nice little powerful locos and each one's eight wheel drive so you've got 16 wheels acting on the track to try and uh, pull, pull it along. Uh, other locos do work on their own. Uh, I've used the Class 60 and a few other bits and pieces over there before, uh, but generally it has to be the big heavy locos, so the 58, the 60 or the 56. Uh, the 47's uh, not quite strong enough to pull it and neither of the 50's uh, due to the fact that I've got the helixes on the layout. So I generally advise that you would do uh, double heading when you're pulling the CMX. Uh, something else worth mentioning is that the CMX comes as standard with KD couplings due to the fact that it is an American product. Um, it does not come with the standard tension lock couplings that most stuff comes with in this country. Uh, for me that's not a problem because I use KDs, I tend to find them a much nicer coupling to use. Um, but obviously if you don't use KDs uh, then it is a little bit of an issue. Um, I have in the past managed to use the little hook on the tension lock couplings to just hook into the top of the KD and that's worked before. Um, the only alternative is to take the couplings out, they're simply screwed in. So if you can get hold of a tension lock coupling that just screws in rather than clips into the NEM pockets, uh, you'll be able to convert it fairly easily. Now we need to uh, let fluid into the, uh, the pad and uh, this bit uh, you need to uh, be watching carefully because uh, it's quite difficult to film, but so you should be able to see it where I've got the camera. Uh, so what we do now is undo the, uh, the little valve on the top and that will allow the uh, fluid to start dripping onto the pad. You have to undo it a reasonable bit before it starts dripping. There you go, can you see that? Just dripping out now. So you can see it's dripping fairly quickly.
there we go that's taking a bit longer now and that's that's roughly what you want you want one drip every couple of seconds that's fine okay so now we're ready to start cleaning uh, get the train rolling up to a a fairly sort of consistent speed you don't want to be going too quickly but by the same token you don't want to go too slowly either otherwise you'll be putting too much fluid on the track uh, so uh, that's all there is to it really you just let the trains do the rest of the work and uh, in the meantime you can carry on playing with other trains on other tracks whilst this one's being clean Right, at this point you're probably thinking, well, you know, that's great and everything, but how do you clean the wheels on your locos? Because the locos also get dirty wheels and they need cleaning from time to time. Well, the advantage with the CMX is as it goes around with the foam pad, it leaves a residue behind. So, you know, all the uh, goo gone and stuff that's dripping onto the pad gets left behind on the track um, and it, it makes it slightly wet. So it's a perfect opportunity to get a train with dirty wheels and just drive it along after the CMX and the act of it driving along the track that's got the cleaning fluid on it will rub onto the wheels and when you go around corners and there's friction over points and stuff it will clean the wheels for you. Now I've been doing this for about a year and a half, two years and it's been working really well. So this is not something that I've just suddenly thought of. I've been doing it for a long time and it's a very effective way of cleaning the wheels on your locos rather than having to get a Pico wire brusher or whatever those wire brush things are and uh, putting loads of little scratches in the wheels. So just simply get the train you need to be cleaned and just drive it off. And now the wheels on that will get nice and clean and any dirt that comes off the wheels onto the rails will be picked up when the CMX comes back round for a second time. Here you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. This track here has not been cleaned and you can see it's fairly dull. Whereas this track has been passed over by the CMX two or three times and there's a nice shiny residue from the Goo Gone on the surface of the rails, which is perfect for wheel cleaning. Uh, this Goo Gone stuff, by the way, does evaporate. So if you leave it overnight, the uh, track will go back to being as grippy as it used to be. You can see it working as well if we wipe a finger along a track that hasn't been cleaned. You can see you've got a nice grubby mark from the track, even though the track looks fairly clean. Then we come over to where the track has been cleaned and wipe it again. And you can see it's perfectly spotless. All you can see is the shiny residue of the cleaner. See the 108 is running much smoother now. Now that the track is nice and clean, it's also polished its wheels nicely after doing a few laps. Now uh, to clean another track, very easy. All you do is change the points. So we'll go now go onto the middle track and start cleaning that one.
just behind the CMX lined up another train that needs its wheels clean now this 47 you have the added bonus of also cleaning all the wheels on the carriages in the process of doing this now that uh, the inside track is clean I can now actually start running in my latest purchase uh, from the Worley Model Railway Show today which is this new uh, Backman Class 150 which I have been meaning to get for ages but just never got around to I saw it today for a very good price so uh, I've jumped at the chance Right, so uh, finished cleaning, all three tracks have been cleaned and as you can see they now all glisten lovely in the light uh, the train's now running a lot better and uh, I shouldn't have to do this for another month or so or uh, maybe a little bit sooner than that if I do lots of running which I inevitably will uh, due to all the testing I've got to do and making sure all this stuff actually works um, so what I like to do just before I finish cleaning is uh, undo the, uh, the filler cap and then use the syringe uh, to take out any of the uh, leftover fluid uh, because this stuff evaporates so if you just leave it sitting in the wagon it will eventually uh, dry up and disappear so uh, that's something else I like to do and uh, finally what I do is I clean the pad uh, because it's made of felt uh, you can actually wash it with uh, hot water and soap under, under the tap and reuse it for your next track cleaning session it saves you having to buy loads of uh, bits of felt to put under it um, so really the final proof of the pudding really to uh, prove that this thing actually works is look at all the dirt that it's picked up on there this pad was nice and clean when I put it on and as you can see it's now absolutely disgusting um, it's all saturated with the cleaning fluid so it will wash out fairly easily and I'll be able to use it again but uh, for those of you that had any, any doubts as to how well the CMX track cleaner actually worked well uh, just look at that that is absolutely disgusting and that was all sitting on the rails all around the railway so uh, yeah it definitely works it's a little on the pricey side but it's a very nicely made piece of kit and uh, it's much quieter than the Dapol track cleaner uh, due to the fact that the Dapol track cleaner has a hoover in it so uh, yeah, I'd thoroughly recommend it, uh, it's very good.